Hey, what's up, guys? It's Iborn Seller, and today I'll be doing a commentary on this gameplay video that I did a few minutes ago, as well as talk about some of the uh, most recent Battlefield 3 news, which there are only being a couple, so uh, this is will probably be just you know mainly talk about the gameplay, but uh, I guess you know let's get down to the few news stories that I got for you guys today. So yesterday, I kind of forgot to talk about the Back to Karkin trailer. I mean, I figured that everybody has seen it by now. But uh, just to give you, you know, the, the <coughs> excuse me, just to give you the details of, you know, Back to Karkin, you know, this, the expansion, if you, you know, didn't know about them. Um, first of all, the uh, Back to Karkin expansion will retail for $15 if uh, you didn't get the uh, limited edition or if you didn't pre-order from Origin, and uh, it'll be 15 bucks in the U.S., 15 euros in Europe, and 24 Australian dollars. So, and uh, it's gonna come out in December, and it'll include uh, 10 new weapons, three new vehicles, and four new maps, which are Strike at Karkin, Wake Island, Sharky Peninsula and Gulf of Oman, as well as some new dog tags and rewards, you know, medals, slash ribbons. So uh, that's all <coughs> the uh, Back to Karkin expansion it's going to have. So, um, you know, look for that in December. An exact date wasn't given, so uh, hopefully before, the, you know, the end of uh, the month. So maybe, I don't know, the, you know. The 10th or you know the 15th something like that so and let's see moving on to the uh, next news story and I guess I already talked about this yesterday about the uh, sales of Battlefield 3 and uh, I guess these are a bit more detail um, numbers so the Xbox 360 version led the, uh, the charts with 2.2 uh, million copies sold the PlayStation 3 followed by 1.5 million, and the PC version only got 500,000. So, uh, like I said yesterday, I'm a bit disappointed that the uh, PC version did not get quite as many uh, sales as the uh, console counterparts. So, uh, but you know, 500,000 that's still a big number. So, uh, and of course, that's the main reason why uh, I'm able to play with other people, you know, right now. So, you know, 500,000, I guess it's enough. So, and uh, and of course you know it sold over 5 million copies so good for the Battlefield franchise and uh, DICE and EA for making a great game so and I guess that's all I got for you guys today as far as news goes so I guess I'll just talk about the gameplay <coughs> and let's see I, I am right now in a uh, I forgot what the name of this jet is. I think it's the flag error or something. Because I know it's not the. Uh... Oh my god. <laughs> I just remember. Oh crap. I just forgot the name of the jet. It's like all the jet names. I just forget them every now and then. So. I apologize for that. But uh, in any case, I'm still flying around in one. So. And I tried out the um, unguided missile pods. And they were okay for taking out uh, uh, vehicles, but, uh, oh, not really. I didn't get to take out that many vehicles, maybe one or two. So I guess if you are planning on using that to take out, uh, you know, tanks or uh, light armor, I guess you shouldn't bother because, uh, I mean, the jets are really fast, so by the time you are close to... Um, the enemy vehicle, I mean, you'll probably be reloading because uh, I think you only get like 14 uh, pods so far. Oh yeah, and I should say that I think when I was playing this uh, this match, I thought I was recording the, a commentary, so uh, it's kind of weird to, uh, <laughs> you know, doing a commentary over a gameplay that I thought already had a commentary, so kind of odd to say the least, so... But in any case, you know, I go around here, try to check out this helicopter, and I think I'm able to lock on, but, uh, I think, oh yeah, I check it out. Oh yeah, the Super Hornet, okay, that's what it's called, god damn, I always forget. 
and thankfully when I ejected I was able to uh, <coughs> get back into the uh, get back into the map so and I'm able to land near E but uh, I don't think I'm able to get it because there's I think I ended up getting sniped by a guy inside which was kind of weird <laughs> so so I go inside this building here and my teammates over there trying to shoot this other guy and I kind of just went like, what the fuck are you shooting at? <laughs> and I look behind, there's a guy over there, so. And all of a sudden, another guy just shows up and kills my teammate, and I take him out. And I revive my teammate right there, and I kind of back away real quick. And I look at the guy over there, and I kind of get headshotted, so. Uh, that kind of sucked, so. And I brought him down to 27% health, so I put a few good shots on him, but uh, not enough to uh, kill him. So and I guess he took out my teammate, so that was a bit of a bummer. <coughs> Man, I'm still coughing, so sorry about that. And right here, I'm deciding where to spawn, and uh, you know, I'm score. Of course, I spawn near. Uh, C, I think, so I can go back to get A because uh, we do not have A. So that's not good. So, and right here, this next section is kind of awesome to say the least because uh, I kind of get really lucky. I don't know how I, I don't die. So, <laughs> so I go around here and get behind this sniper, which was completely oblivious to my presence, and I go around him and just knife him in the back, you know, take his tags, and all of, all of a sudden there's like four guys around me, and I started getting shot up from the, from the side, and uh, then another guy just shows up out of nowhere, he's pretty much in front of me, and I can't see him right there, and I take him out, I don't know how I did not die, and then this other guy shows up, and I don't know which, which way he went, I think he's laying down there, sniping, I probably should have just gone behind him and knifed him, but uh, I don't know how I didn't get killed from that really sticky situation, so, uh, you know, but uh, I was kind of not really freaking out, but I was really proud that I actually got through that section without getting killed, because I was so certain I was going to die, because there were just so many guys around me. There were three guys at one point, so, but uh, anyway, I think I go back over to C. Excuse me. And I see a guy over here and I take him out. And I I thought I saw somebody over there, so I run over to this side of the map, the edge of the map. And I think I see a few guys here, like three guys, so and the infrared side is just really useful at taking out guys that are uh, hiding in the you know, somewhere, like in the dark and stuff, so and you know, even though it's you know broad daylight, they're still pretty useful because um, they're both night vision and uh, infrared sight combined. So uh, you know, even though it's you know, like I said, broad daylight, it doesn't matter because uh, the infrared still works well enough. So, and I spot a guy right there and put a few shots on him before he runs away. And I think there's like three guys in this building alone. So. Uh, and my teammate up there just oblivious to everything that's happening. So, uh, it's kind of funny. I think he gets taken out, but I revive him. So I get this guy right here. He was, he was at the top. And I'm still looking for the his other buddies that are still in the third floor, I think. Oh, yeah, there he is. Or at least one of them. And I think he gets up, and I think he's able to get away. So Because I just started shooting like a, like a maniac. So I probably should have... Uh, Started shooting uh, burst mode instead of you know full auto because the uh, full auto doesn't really work all the time. And um, my teammate finally comes down, you know, from the uh, top and uh, tries to kill the guy. And right there, I, I was down to one percent health. I don't even know how I didn't die. That was just ridiculous. <laughs> I mean, wow, too lucky, I guess. And uh, my team gets second out, so I revive him real quick. And I was gonna go up there, but uh, I only had 24% health, so uh, not uh, the best plan to run up to uh, you know somewhere where you know people are at, you know the enemies are at. So, 
and uh, you know just get killed in two bullets but i go up here anyway and uh, i'm looking for the guy and he's just right there in the corner and you know i get taken out <coughs> But uh, my teammate gets him, and uh, I think there was a medic around, so he's able to uh, revive me. So uh, I was kind of glad there was somebody, you know, behind me, you know, willing to revive me. So and right here, there's still a guy up here, and I knife him, and I don't really do the animation, so I was kind of weird because I was expecting that to happen right away. But uh, the second one did the trick, and there was still a guy here. I don't even know where the hell that guy <laughs> that guy came from. So that was kind of strange. But I'm able to get him and his buddy, so that was good. And of course, the parachute is uh, not quite as useful as it was in the Bad Company 2, because uh, even though you're in the parachute, still you still take damage, or you know it takes a bit longer to be able to deploy it. So and right here, I was a bit out, out of ammo, so yeah, I was glad to uh, come across a uh, support class that had provided some ammo, so I was happy about that. Of course, guys over here trying, I mean, I'm trying to kill some of my friends. So, I go over here trying to revive this guy, but he's already dead. So, uh, you know, I guess uh, it's too late. And I think I was talking about right about here how it's really important to have at least a few medics, because um, uh, I mean, you're supposed to have at least a few of each class, because otherwise, you know, it'd be a pretty incompetent team if all like all the guys are recon all of or if uh, all the guys are support class cuz uh, I mean you you need medic medics to uh, revive people or heal them and you need uh, engineers to destroy vehicles of course you need a support class for the you know suppressor fire or you know the ammo boxes so uh, and recon is uh well what's the recon's class purpose i guess to uh give uh, mobile spawn sites and um, I guess do some reconnaissance if they actually do what you know the, the class has to do to you know do some recon and you know go near the enemy and provide uh, with some reconnaissance so uh, yeah <laughs> but some people just uh, use the recon class as a sniper class which is not so uh, I'm glad that people you know some recon players out there you know actually play their role correctly so and right here we're kind of near the end of the match there's only like a minute and a half left so and I pretty much go in I don't want to say a rampage but kind of a rampage I mean I don't get taken out until like the very end of the mad match so <coughs> And so right there, that's the last death. And I think I was going 15 and 1. And as you'll see at the end, it's kind of funny what happens. So I, I'm, I'm like, 15 and 1, sweet. And then all of a sudden, bam, 15 and 2. And I'm like, fuck. <laughs> so that was kind of funny to see the 1 change to a 2. So, But uh, yeah, that, that, was kind of, that was kind of funny to be honest. So. And I ended up going 50 and 2, which was a pretty good score, you know, overall. So, um, yeah. And so, game's over. We won. So, uh, you know, winning and going positive is always good. So, uh, anyway, guys, if you could comment on the video, you know, rate it and subscribe. That'd be amazing. And I still got a few more seconds to kill. So, I guess I'll just, you know, tell you to check out my other videos. And, you know, do the same for those. So, uh you know, comment and rate. So I guess I'll see you guys later. Goodbye.